Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about my difficult conversation with Jenny D. Um, so Jenny D did a video. Uh, the link for that video is below. Um, and my conversation with her, I don't think it's there anymore. I went on an incognito. When I go on my own account, it's right there, and I can read everything right. But when I look at it through an incognito, there, first of all, there's literally a thousand. There's uh, this is not a joke. There's a thousand comments on that thing already. Like, it's incredible, right? And so, one, if you can find it and it's still there, please let me know. But I think there's a good chance that Jenny, like, uh, either blocked me or blocked the content. I get it, right? I, I block people. I totally understand that, right? And I think she was frustrated by the whole conversation. And I actually think she should be frustrated by the whole conversation because I was saying, hey, it's nine days to Dungeon Dragons Honor Among Thieves, and here you are in a video taking a dump on, um, you know, on Dungeons & Dragons 2000 movie, right? So first of all, uh, I'm not going to recap this whole thing again. Um, and the reason why is I've already recapped it like three times, right? This, this video is part of a playlist. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, you don't know about my difficult conversation with Jenny D, no problem, I get it, right? Just click the, pla the playlist, start from the beginning, and you'll get caught up. All right, let's go. All right, so what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk, I want to tell you right now, Jenny D flat out wrong about uh, Dungeons and Dragons 2000 being a bad movie. And if you think Dungeons and Dragons 2000 was a bad movie, you are wrong as well. We're going to get into it. So, Jenny D, you took a whole video to dump on Dungeons and Dragons 2000 nine days before Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves dropped. I 100% believe you that your intent was not to discourage people to go see the new movie. Does that mean you your video won't discourage uh, people to go see the new movie? Absolutely not. I think it will discourage probably a thousand to two thousand people, based on your numbers. I think are going to be discouraged from seeing the movie. There are a ton of people who are like, "Hey, last D&D movie sucked," and every OSR grognard I talked to for the last year, you two, two years, two years, and that's what we've been talking about. Dungeons, that's how long we've been talking about Dungeons Dragons: Arm and Thieves. Was like, "Yeah, this is going to suck. I don't need to watch it." Right? And you come in nine days before the movie. And dropping a video, I believe your intent was to be funny, right? And I believe your intent was to gain some some views for your channel, which is totally appropriate. You should try to gain your content creator. I get that, right? That was not a problem. But the fact, so your intent was not to discourage people from going to see new, new movie. You are absolutely discouraging people from from going to see the new movie. And the reason why is our our intent doesn't matter. What I, what matters is the reality, right? And so, so a movie, nine day, a, a video, nine days, you know, dropping nine days before the new movie that says D and D movies suck. Let's talk about a sucky D and D movie nine days before is absolutely going to, you know, result in my humble opinion with people not going to see the movie. So I don't think that was your intent. I think that's one hundred percent the reality of that. What's going to happen from your video, right? And you're like, well, in later in the video. Uh, Ginny, I'm I'm sorry. I understand. I'm explaining YouTube to you, and you have 500, 000, almost 500,000 subs, and I have 2,000. But some of the things you say clearly indicate that you don't understand YouTube, right? You're not looking at your analytics and your metrics in your studio closely enough, or you're looking at them and you're not understanding what you're seeing, okay? Because you're like, oh, later in the video, I say that I like it. Uh, if you look at your if you look at your YouTube, uh, you know you're just like me. You got a studio, right? You got YouTube Studio. Go take a look. The vast majority people are not finishing. Like, ten percent of everybody who starts a video finishes the video, right? Like, but you but they're gonna click on you. They're gonna listen to ten seconds. They're gonna listen to one minute. They're gonna see your thumbnail. You are influencing people just with your thumbnails. Do you not understand this, right? Like. So when you make a, a, a YouTube, you know, a, a YouTube video nine days before the new movie, saying, "Hey, look at this sucky D and D movie," people are absolutely going to connect and say, "Oh, this is permissioning me to believe that the new movie is going to suck." And Reggae Jean Page can go kick rocks, and Michelle Regas can go go kick rocks, and uh, Chris Pines can go kick rocks, and um, Justice Smith can go kick rocks, and Sophia Lillis can go kick rocks, right? And their work doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if the movie is, you know, is uh, putting forward, uh, giving massive opportunity to people of color, to LGBTQ. Like this, your video is absolutely going to take money out of these people's pockets, in my humble opinion. And I think you need, and I don't think you intended it. I 100% believe you that you didn't intend it, but the idea is it really is going to, right? So I, so you started a conversation with me. 
welcome to J. Scott Garibay's channel, we're going to have a conversation, right? Like, so you really need, I, I honestly think you need to be very aware of what, of what your video, so do not assume that anybody's going to finish your videos. I don't assume that, right? Like, I know from the studio, that's not the case, right? There are going to be a lot of people who start up and do not finish the video, okay? So the reality is, and that's one of the reasons why I say from the beginning, the point of my video, right? Like, so, and I and I would suggest you, like, you you're still sitting there thinking, like, people are going to finish your, like, 13-minute videos. That just ain't the case. you got you got to pay attention, right? So, let's get into this, all right? Dungeons & Dragons 2000 is not a bad movie, okay? The reason you're saying that is that your, your view of Dungeons & Dragons 2000 is outrageously, unfairly, and outlandishly limited and shallow, okay? Here's the issue, okay? Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves rocks. You've seen it. You know I'm right, okay? It rocks because Dungeon Dragons 2000 exists. It's there, right? It, and Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves, that didn't just pop out of nowhere, right? Dungeons & Dragons has been trying... Gary Gygax went to Hollywood in 1983. What you're, you're, what you're seeing now, and get this, Dungeons & Dragons is dropping its second attempt at a Dungeons & Dragons cinematic universe, Okay? And the first one was not the quality that they hoped and not and did not achieve on screen what it needed to. But in the IRL, it absolutely achieved what it needed to. Dungeons & Dragons, as a brand, is bringing its second movie, its second attempt to start a Dungeons & Dragons cinematic universe. And this time, it's going to work. Because Dungeons & Dragons 2000 existed, right? This ain't Hasbro's first rodeo. This is the second time they've dealt with they've dealt with Hollywood, right? And so this movie now is carrying real life IRL lessons that Dungeons and Dragons 2000 paid blood, sweat, and tears for, right? So I know it's fun, like, and I don't, and I will tell you right now, you tore that that movie a new one. You are a content creator just like me, right? You don't get to just tear like comic book girl 19. Very good D and D. Uh, very good. She was a um, a great creator on YouTube, and I and I, and she's like, I would love to rip this, you know, comic book a new one, but I'm a creator, right? Like I know how hard it is to create, and so I know you had fun just laughing at every, you know, laughing at, um, you know, all the actors and all the writers and all the grips and like all the people who schlepped all the equipment, right? Like, but it's cruel. It's cruel. To come 23 years after a movie and point it at Marlon Wayans and say you did a crap job, right? It's it's not right. It's not right, right? And the reality is, maybe it didn't achieve everything it wanted to achieve on the screen, but if you look at that film in context, right? Dungeons and Dragons is now going for its second at attempt at a D at, at a cinematic universe. Where's OSC? Where's DCC? Where's Pathfinder? Where's Monster of the Week? Where's the PBTA, you know, uh, movie? It's nowhere, right? And you are not realizing that Dungeons and Dragons is iteratively scaling, and that is a cap. Dungeons and Dragons 2000 film is a capstone. This movie sits on top of it. It is not a bad movie. It accomplishes amazing things, right? You need to look at art in full perspective. And as a creator, I'm inviting you to be a little more kind when it comes to creation right like and realize the gains are not always seen on the screen sometimes they're seen there it's how it impacts the viewer right it's what happens with those creators it's building a relationship with hottie this is a five decade old a five decade five decade old legacy product building a relationship with hollywood you know how hard it is to build a relationship with hollywood right so to come in and say that movie is not good is incredibly shallow and does not give the artists who worked on that film fair credit, right? I'm calling you to a better standard, Jimmy. I really am. I think, I think that video was very. It was inappropriate. It was the timing was inappropriate. I know you did not intend to push people away from the movie. I absolutely think that video is going to discourage people from seeing the video. There are thousands of grognards who are looking for an excuse to skip the new film. You gave it to them, right? Like you're, you know. The initial minutes of your video, the screenshot of your video, just saying, hey, everybody, it's nine days before Don Dungeon Dragons Honor of the Day. Let's all remember that D&D movies suck, right? Like, the timing was irresponsible, irresponsible. 
I know it wasn't your intent. I totally understand it wasn't your intent, but intent doesn't doesn't manifest into reality, right? Like, and it certainly won't here. I think you're I think you're gonna get the opposite. Uh, like, the idea was to have fun. Does anybody look like anybody's having fun with that video? Uh, I don't think so, right? Like, and I don't, frankly, I'm gonna say right now, I don't think it is fun to tell people that other people's creations suck, right? Like, so that's my take. This is my take, and I and honestly, Jenny, I really. I want you to think carefully about your place in tabletop role-playing game industry. I want you, this is what I would really like to see you do with your career, okay? And this is my advice to you. I'm welcome to hear your advice on what I should do with my channel, right? Uh, but I know you I, I know you hear the siren's call of the OSR. They ain't got nothing for you, right? Your success is from Dungeons & Dragons. Realize that, accept that and embrace Dungeons & Dragons as their brand, and take your place as the next D&D design lead. Take your place as the creative community uh, manager for, uh, director for all of D&D as a brand. Take your place as a Hollywood liaison, because I think if you if you stop destroying the incredibly valuable gifts that D&D sends you, and accept their, you know, accept their, um, their gratis and their kindness to you, you could find a place with them. Don't grunt, don't Jennifer Kretschmer yourself, right? Like you, I don't think it's too late, right? I think you can get on back on board with D and D and be a powerful advocate for it for decades to come, right? And I think there's an opportunity for that, right? Because people don't click on our face forever, right? Like you know, this is a thing. Rhett and Link say it all the time, right? They're getting ready for the time when people are not going to click on their face anymore. There might be a time where people aren't going to click on your face anymore, and maybe it'd be good to sit down and, and, and design the next edition of Dungeons & Dragons, which I think you are capable of. And I really don't want to see you just plutz away these opportunities for, for what? To, and to impress OSR grognards? Please, right? Like, please get back on board on this. And honestly, I think you owe, I think you owe the D&D community an apology for that video. I really do. That's my humble opinion. I'm ready to hear your humble opinion, Jenny. Also, if anyone else there out there who's heard this video has any humble opinions, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.